people um, this is uh, an important video about um, NXT and Bitcoin uh, but especially NXT um, we're now uh, October uh, somewhere the 10th 11th or 12th yeah, 12th of October um, NXT price has continued to be weak and has gone down a bit since my last video half a year ago it was around 10 million market cap now it's around 8 million market cap so another 20% drop um, but whereas Bitcoin has kept its value it was $235 and now it's $245 so it's the same about but um, NXT has uh, some new problems, some big problems. Um, for the first time in the past three months, the amount of transactions has gone down and it has gone down quite a lot. I think uh, last I checked it was somewhere around, I think it was about on average 3000 transactions per day and now it's only around 1000 transactions per day. So we're back at uh, where it started at uh, the start of two, uh, Jan, uh, 2014 after the first initial big bubble and a lot of transactions it settled down at around 1000 transactions per day and that's again the same now um, also um, a lot of things in the uh, community are slowing down uh, the amount of assets that are launched uh, the amount of forum activity uh, has gone down um, also um, uh, things like uh, block explorers, great block explorers, uh, such as the original one um, that I have always been able to frequent uh, the past two years has disappeared. Another one, uh, block explorer of NXT that also had a wallet, uh, has also uh, stopped operations. Um, some great talent has uh, left the scene. Wesley, who created the beautiful interface of the uh, NXT client, is not uh, active anymore. Uh, I, I, do, I saw that he still has some NXT on his account, but he's not active anymore, which I think is a big loss. Uh, other people like Kushti, who was a core developer, seems to have taken a step back, though last I spoke to him he was still very positive about NXT. However, Come From Beyond is uh, in, uh, uh, not so positive about NXT, has also left the scene. He was the first lead developer after the founder BC Next uh, launched uh, NXT. Uh, Come From Beyond was always the lead developer. He has left, uh, but luckily he has been replaced by John Luke, who is, in my opinion, leading the project very good. Um, mm, uh, but a lot of negative uh, news um, that also makes me doubt. Uh, um, I mean, it can fail. Uh, the way these projects fail is uh, the usage goes down and the, and the community activity goes down and that's how a project dies. And uh, with NXT, it's, uh, the last bubble was over one year ago when it uh, went back up uh, after the initial bubble when it started it went down but then it went back up to a new all-time high of 13 to even 15,000 satoshi on Polonix um, uh, in fiat it was about the same as the first bubble because Bitcoin has had gone down in the meantime but it uh, it peaked out at around 80 million uh, market cap but since then it has gone down to today 8 million so 10 times less and in one year and not a single, I maybe sometimes it went up again with 30, 50, 40, 50%, but then up a new low soon thereafter. So it's been really hard um, uh, for anyone who has a, a decent position uh, in NXT, uh, saw a lot of uh, value disappear uh, and um, uh, me too. Uh, and basically everything I won with Bitcoin, um, I've lost again with NXT so that really sucks and it's hard um, but um, uh, I think uh, there's a lot to uh, hold on to um, uh, and I won't be making the same mistake that I have made in the past as an investor um, silver I was an early investor in silver in 2006 I saw the potential it was then $10 an ounce 
um, I started buying uh, and um, by 2008 I had a big position I think it was around 25% of my portfolio was uh, physical silver um, and then the bank crisis came and uh, I had foreseen that, warned uh, my family and my banker about that, but uh, nobody took it serious uh, except, well, my brother who also, one of my brothers who was also a critical thinker, and actually I learned a lot from him. Uh, he also saw that coming, but what we didn't see coming was that uh, during that crisis, gold would go down, even though there was a huge counterparty risk, many banks like defaulting, not trusting each other anymore and uh, still gold went down. I didn't see that coming, but then silver, and I, I had barely invested in gold, most of my, most was silver. Silver was not just going down a little, no, it was cut in half in a few months time. Uh, it had gone up to 20 US dollars per ounce, and I had made nice profits, but then suddenly, boom, it went to $10 per ounce, and I was sitting on a big loss, uh, and, um, and, there was a lot of uh, reasons to be bearish on silver for the future because the worldwide economy economy collapsed like international trade suddenly came to almost a standstill uh, and that those were facts eh? the amount of cars that were bought was dropped by i don't know the numbers anymore so over 50 percent sometimes 80 90 percent also trace the amount of transport oil vessels uh, 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 transportation vessels like it just all collapsed and it was a, a real shock it had this hadn't happened in hundreds of years and so there was no need at all for silver as a commodity uh, and um, well uh, and so I, I got scared and uh, I saw a big opportunity I bought actually a lot of silver when it was ten dollars but on paper and not physical that was not possible because physical was not available in the shops anymore um, uh, but uh, I, I was able to buy on um, uh, uh, well via some uh, exchange uh, a lot of silver uh, on paper uh, backed by real silver uh, and then <laughs> a week later I sold it all again uh, I think uh, my, my, my portfolio went down for, from an allocation of 25 or 30 percent physical silver to only 10 percent because it dropped so much in value. And then I said, okay, I'm, I'm buying a lot. So I, I, I doubled or tripled my position again in silver with that paper silver. But then a week later, I sold it all again. What I had bought, the extra paper silver, because I was scared. Um, and then soon after, uh, in 2009, about, uh, in half a year time, uh, or less, uh, the price of silver recovered back from ten dollars to twenty dollars, uh, and um, uh, I missed totally out on buying uh, cheaply. But also, I made it even worse. Once the price uh, had recovered to about fifteen dollars uh, per ounce, which was my uh, buy-in price, I liquidated two thirds, so about sixty, seventy percent of my physical silver. I sold, not at a slight profit of 10-20% uh, because I, I was still scared and, and actually I, my philosophy had changed and I said I didn't want to speculate anymore and I want to have everything safely in a permanent portfolio and that were my arguments but it was the poor, a poor poor decision looking back on it because uh, in two years time after that the price went up from 15 US dollars to 40 US dollars and I had only a little bit of silver left to profit from that. Um, so I'm not going to make the same mistake today, um, <clears throat> which is uh, which would be not to buy uh, on this very low price and to let myself uh, to let my fear take over and see only look at the negative points and not at the positive ones. That's a big mistake. There are a lot of positive points to be made about NXT um, that remain facts. Just like silver when it went down from $20 to $10. Uh, yes, okay, worldwide trade collapsed, but that was not sustainable. Um, if you would have no, known at the time, I didn't know, but 
but at the time if you would have had some uh, 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 some experience you would have known that central banks would have printed all the amount of money necessary to quick to 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 let uh, to rescue most of those banks i didn't know that i was like many people suddenly uh, the central bank didn't print money for Lehman Brothers and let it go down and I was thinking like wow eh, uh, 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 more banks will collapse and yes this collapse in worldwide trade may take a long time but no 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 the central bank just let Lehman Brothers go broke because of an internal fight between these uh, leaders uh, 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 but uh, the general policy uh, uh, as always in history uh, remained the same which is we print money to bail out the banks and um, and uh, after uh, a recession that can be uh, you will get a recovery uh, 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 most of the people will not lose their money in a in a default but um, almost all people will lose their money through inflation mm -hmm. so uh, that policy was chosen and so the, the economy recovered quickly and the need for uh, commodities uh, recovered and indeed people valued more uh, uh, things like gold and silver that has no counterparty risk and so you did get a bubble in those assets after that crisis um, uh, so yeah um, you could all have seen that uh, even when uh, there was hysteria and panic you could see that if you did not let your fear take over that um, that there would be uh, there was was a very good chance that gold and silver would go up a lot in value um, uh, once the dust settled um, and um, I think the same is true today for Bitcoin and NXT NXT especially um, yes there is a fear that the project dies that is true uh, a chance uh, that is true uh, but um, Looking at the competition right now, uh, there is not a competitor that is uh, able to uh, outshine NXT. It is a NXT still offers the same. Um, it's a proof of stake coin, 100% proof of stake, so it's much more secure against the 51% attack. That's still the case today, uh, even though the price went down a lot. Uh, also, compared to Bitcoin, it lost serious value um, it's almost cut in half if you look at an average price of 5000 satoshi of nxt per, uh, per, per nxt uh, well now it's around 3000 satoshi per nxt so yeah um, even compared to bitcoin it went down but um, uh, it's still highly necessary uh, for a cryptocurrency investor to diversify into nxt uh, the risk for me is too high to be just in Bitcoin um, because of uh, yeah, a 51% attack. Um, of course, if that would happen, 50, a successful 51% attack, then uh, likely all cryptocurrencies would suffer in price and NXT also. Um, but um, after that, very likely something like NXT will go up a lot more uh, than Bitcoin. And Bitcoin might, might not even uh, like, uh, uh, go back to its previous valuations. Mm. Uh, and of course, since the uh, market cap of NXT is so low, um, you can't just take in your position easily. Uh, you must build these positions over time. Um, uh, if you are uh, have a few, um, if you have 10k to invest, okay. But if you have a few hundred k, <laughs> let alone million, uh, a few million to invest, like you can't just buy your position. You have to build that up over time. Um, and so, um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, what else uh, gives me uh, confidence? Uh, that NXT is still a good investment. Um, I really like that some people start to use NXT for what it was meant to be uh, as a uh, decentralized uh, application platform. Other people can build on top of it and you see that something like um, uh, Bitcoiners, I forgot their name, but they have uh, Bitcoin ATMs 
uh, they uh, mentioned in a YouTube video that they uh, start using uh, uh, have started using NXT for to send to 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 send um, uh, encrypted messages, and they were very very uh, happy uh, how easily it was to develop that um, application on top of NXT, and that they didn't have to bother with building a decentralized network and uh, uh, and secure it. Um, that's great to see. Also, Notilius Coin, who was a proof of stake uh, work coin, a, cop a copy coin of Bitcoin, <coughs> decided to transfer uh, their coin to uh, uh, NXT, and now they are. Uh, 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 Notilius Coin quoted on the uh, NXT um, uh, monetary system, um, and so they are now secured uh, with proof of stake. With NXT, they don't have to bother about that anymore. They don't have to be afraid because many of these small coins uh, they have big mining problems. They are uh, when they are proof of work, they get 51% attacked very easily, and um, then they have to do all kind of things to avoid that. And it's a big mess. It's and it's of course much easier to. Uh, outsource that to NXT and just build your coin on top of it, and so that you can focus on promotion of the coin and this and and, and accept, acceptance of the coin, and not with the technical uh, uh, nightmares that the proof of work coin uh, is. So that's also happened. And of, not Tilius coin is not is a small coin, but it's uh, created by um, oh, what's his name again. I have to look that up one moment. Um, one moment. Eh? It's someone also who uh, has good connections with CNBC and he speaks there sometime. On, uh, on that TV, uh, oh yeah, Brian Kelly. Huh? Um, he has he used to be a, a hedge fund manager, and uh, now um, uh, he has um, he becomes also an investor in startups. But um, and he has written a book about Bitcoin that I really liked. Um, and he talks a lot about his coin, Nutilius coin. What I like about him and some other people like Max Kaiser is uh, that they launch their own cryptocurrency, some with success, some not, but they really get what um, uh, that uh, the cryptocurrency is a, a much bigger thing than just Bitcoin, that Bitcoin is just a first, uh, the first, the one that create, launched the market, the first successful cryptocurrency but that this market will be a lot bigger and 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 and, and basically um, the right way to approach this is to launch your own coin if you want to um, um, profit m maximally um, uh, bitcoin maximalists uh, will prefer you to uh, not do that and 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 to use bitcoin for the things that you are uh, doing but um and the problem is the business model of cryptocurrency is that um, uh, is that you make your money by uh, owning the coin uh, and the coin has to go up in value and then you make your money so if you build something for bitcoin you need to have a lot of bitcoins to profit from that and that's not the case uh, for entrepreneurs they don't have a lot of bitcoin and so why would they create value for bitcoin they don't even hold the coin uh, and they can't hold the coin because it's too expensive it's like that's why people don't uh, uh, work at microsoft start their own company because they don't have micro uh, very little microsoft shares and all the value they create would go to microsoft so that's why you start your own company because then all the value that cre you create is owned by your by an entity where you have a lot of shares in and the same is true in cryptocurrency world and so um, but not so many people see that yet and um, and very few create 
they have a lot of cryptocurrency coins created, but a lot of it is just bullshit. I mean, it's not all creating any value. There are very few coins that create value, and um, and, and, and and so Notilius coin is really trying that. Mm. Mm, and so uh, it's really great to see that um, that they chose for NXT. So th these are small small things that happen, uh, but are really the future of NXT. Um, I just hope that this bear market doesn't last too long because uh, um, the market can remain um, irrational much longer than you or I can remain, um, uh, how do you say that, um, funded basically. Eh? Um, I also have my expenses and uh, if, if things go on like that. I will have to sell my Lambo and um, uh, I will have to also uh, start selling my investments and that really sucks. So um, uh, I still believe that uh, the risk reward ratio of NXT is uh, overall better than Bitcoin but uh, if I could turn back town, uh, time I would have, of course, bought NXT lower, I am um, slower, and uh, and uh, I would have, feel more confident today with a 50-50 allocation to both, and not the 45-30 allocation uh, that I have now. I mean, I would have preferred to have some uh, more Bitcoin, less NXT, but um, that's um, my fear uh, speaking because if I look at r ration, the reasons, the rationality, it's still the case that the risk reward, even though uh, NXT has, uh, the risk has, consi has considerably gone up the past three months, the risk reward ratio is still better than with Bitcoin, I think. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's, it's hard and um, it sucks and um, fear is also uh, taking a hold of me um, so yeah uh, I hope you also succeed uh, in making the right decision sometimes uh, I mean there is no certainty NXT can fail and it may be the right thing to do to sell it all today uh, but um, uh, I still think chances are low for that because of um, the same reason why um, Bitcoin um, will likely go up. Uh, I mean, it is offering something unique, it continues to be something unique. Okay, you can buy uh, outlawed stuff online with Bitcoin, that's great. But it offers other things that are unique. If you want to save your money, you cannot do that in fiat or in cash, in euros or dollars on a bank account because it goes down too much in value. People say, yeah, Bitcoin and NXT goes down too. Yeah, but that's the volatility. Uh, in the long run, <coughs> it goes up, Bitcoin, um, because that's also a fact. If you look at the price history, it has gone up a lot still today at 230 or 240 US dollars. The reason for that is that uh, you you can't print them out of uh, nothing, and so uh, uh, and um, uh, you can do something with it that is unique, uh, and so you do need it. You have more users over time, and, and the amount of transaction continues to go up there, and all by much much slower now because we, Bitcoin has been in a bear market now for almost two years, but um, still. Uh, uh, because it can't be printed uh, by the government, uh, well, that's the only money where you have that. So that's really also something very unique uh, and very desirable uh, for people because it's a real hassle to have to invest your money always in real estate and stocks uh, just to keep its value. Um, if you just switch to Bitcoin as money instead of euros on a bank account, then you, uh, you don't have to do that anymore. But you have to face high volatility and that's what we're doing today 
and that's also not easy for that you need to be really a, uh, understand the fundamentals otherwise you will not f be able to with withstand such volatility and um, yeah um, so yeah uh, and of course to uh, with, to understand the fundamentals you need to study it a lot uh, and uh, and that also takes time and energy so nothing is for free uh, and um, um, but our payday is not today uh, it's uh, going to be later hopefully